formidable we are one family good evening good night good morning good afternoon from wherever you are joining us wonderful people of biafra lovers of freedom from all over the world you are all welcome to biafra twitter space and my name remember mazi chukwe meka nyoroka for Mazi Okafo is from Anyocha province in Biafra land and served indigenous people of Biafra as the coordinator from the northern, the northern region of Germany. And I base in Bremen, for those of you who cares to know. And Bremen is in the northern part of Germany. Greetings to each and every one of you and may Chukwu Kabiyama be your strength. Before we start, we have to pay respect to those that deserve it, to our eternal leader. Dim Chukwe Mekod Megwo Juku, a man that sacrificed all his father's words, a man that sacrificed everything possible that he could to make sure that people like me and you are here today to be able to share this wonderful word of wisdom. Greetings to each and every one of you. How could we forget to greet our supreme leader, our spiritual leader, Onyen Dumazin Nandekano? a man that sacrificed both his parents for our sake, a man that had the love of, of his people in the middle of his heart, a man that was brutally kidnapped in Kenya and rendition to the contraption caused in Nigeria. As we are talking right now, this man keeps sacrificing in DSS dungeon there in contraption caused in Nigeria. We say wherever he is, may Okike remain his strength. May Elohim guide him. May he give him victory over his enemy as he's been doing. For the world to know, we've been saying it. Since the 13th of October 2022, our lead Onyen Dumazin Nandekanu, a man that traveled with British passport from London to Kenya. This man was kidnapped in Kenya as a British citizen and rendition to the contraption caused in Nigeria. This is the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, the leader of over 70, 80 million citizens of Biafra. Anything should not happen to that man. Nothing should happen to our leader. We know that the DSS, the contraption called Zoo Authority, have poisoned him there in DSS dungeon. The same time, we know that our leader is suffering from ear blockade that he, suffered, he got from the torture during when they were torturing him in Kenya. He cannot hear well on one of his ears. And we are telling the international community, we demand nothing less than unconditional release of our leader because this is an innocent man, a man that did nothing. All his crime was let my people go. All his crime was that the contraption caused in Nigeria 
is not a country. His crime was to call for a referendum. His crime was to call for the freedom of his people. His crime was to bring to notice the injustice that is being peddled to Biafrans, to me and you. That was his crime. His crime was speaking against the, all the injustice that our people are facing, the oppression. His crime was speaking out against the whole massacre Biafrans are facing. His crime was complaining, wailing against the whole oppression, torture, massacre that our people are facing from one massacre to the other, from Orifite massacre to Ihiala massacre, from Ihiala massacre to Osu massacre, from Osu massacre to Olu massacre, from Olu massacre to Obaru massacre, from Obaru massacre to Ehamufu massacre, from Ehamufu massacre to Eboni massacre, from Eboni massacre to Uguani massacre in Enugu, from Uguani massacre in Enugu to Onicha massacre. So continued. We are not talking about the massacre that is happening at Olu right now. These are the crime of our leader Dumazin Nandi Kano. That was the reason why he was renditioned back to the contraption Kozu, Nigeria. And the world are keeping silent. We are putting each and every one of them on notice, more especially the politicians serving the zoo in the eastern part of that country. There will be our breakfast if anything happens to our leader. This is not a threat, but a promise. I want to remind each and every one of them, if a sect like Boko Haram, with only 2,000 members, keep destroying and keep tormenting that contraption called Zoo Nigeria since more than 10 years, sorry is the name of those people that call themselves Nigerians, because if anything happens to our leader, this is the leader of more than 80 million Biafrans. We cannot guarantee how each and every Biafrans will react. We cannot guarantee the world, the outcome of the disaster. We are warning Europe and the world entirely. If anything happens to our leader, they should prepare for the biggest human catastrophe that the mankind have ever experienced. They should prepare for the massive refugee crisis, the biggest that the world have ever witnessed in this life. This is what we are trying to let them know. This is what they should know. This is not time to joke or time to play the, play games with the life of our leader. We are not going to tolerate it. This is a British citizen, the British ambassador to Nigeria. The devil called herself Katriona Lang and the American ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Beth. These two people are corrupt criminals. They should be brought to book. These people should, if International Court of Justice really work, if ICC work the way they said, these two ambassadors should be prosecuted for war, they are war criminals, for war against humanity. They should be prosecuted because they have the hand in the rendition of our Donian Dumasen Nandekanu. How do Britain, Britain, how could Britain explain this? Do they want to tell us that if our leader was white, the British will not be sending their tornadoes now to Abuja and Lagos? Do they think we are fool? Well, who does Katrina like think she is? She is patrolling that zoo up and down as if she owned it. Anyway, I don't blame her because the zoo used to be called Royal Niger Company. From Royal Niger Company, they name it Nigeria where they find the biggest numbers of black Africans who are behaving like fools, those that could not reason well, those that could not understand. What do we want when we, what is our, why are we fighting to restore Biafra? We are fighting to restore Biafra to give our people the opportunity, those of us that are living in diaspora are having. For example, somebody like me, I live in a civilized society where there is steady light, where there is steady power supply, where there is steady water supply, where you have good roads, where you have security, where you have social security net for those that could not work, for the handicapped people, for the uh, 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 motherless children, for parents from a, uh, children from a single home. I live in a society where everybody have where the court of where the rule of law work. 
and this is what we want to guarantee our people back home in Biafra because whenever if you are if you are a student of Radio Biafra and you've listened to our leader he used to say in his broadcast my mandate my divine mandate is to restore Biafra we have brains that will rule Biafra and that is true I live here in diaspora and I can guarantee you we have people that can rule Biafra when Biafra is restored we have those that we, within six months to a year, transform Biafra to the greatest black country you have in this earth. We have them because our people are scattered all over the world, from doctors to engineers, from engineers to scientists, from scientists to whatever field you can think of, our people are represented. I can say with Germany, for example, and many other countries have visited, Biafrans are always at the top. But we can't keep building other people's economy while our ancestral heritage lags behind. Before I continue, let me not forget to greet the DOS, the highest office of indigenous people of Biafra. Somebody should help me to tweet the DOS awards. Greeting to the HDOS, Mazichike Dozim. The man that our leader in his absence ordained the control over this structure, over this big train, over this monster called IPOB. A man filled with patience. A man that understood what the zoo are thinking before the zoo even executed their plan. A man that was handed the blueprint to our freedom. And he executing it professionally and 100%. We thank him for all his patience not submitting to the pressures of these saboteurs, people like Kinsi Lezebilo and Madam Nenyanya, those that are stealing IPOB money. We talked ab about them last time, and we will still talk about them today. They cannot escape the heat that, are, that is coming. If they think that IPOB is family business, we are telling Kinsi Lezebilo that is a criminal, he should go and look for work. This is a jobless person in Germany. Somebody should ask him when was the last time he contributed, he paid monetary dues. This is a man that was jobless in Germany. This is a man, a cane, a man that was telling Biafrans that his brother that is still in mountain praying, while he knew that the zoo authorities with some corrupt Kenyan officials have adopted our, have kidnapped our leader. Somebody should ask him if our leader is still in the mountain praying. We know why he's doing everything he's doing, sabotaging every effort from the dust to make sure that our leader does not come out so that he will not face justice. But he will face that justice whether he like it or not. Him and Madam Nen Nyanya, when the time comes, we in Germany, we are going to make sure that through the democratic process we have here in Germany, that they will get what they deserve. And with that, I'm going to continue. Before we move on, I want to thank each and every one of you that took out the time to join us today. As you all know, the selection called election is coming up in the zoo, in the contraption called Zoo Nigeria. As the vultures have gathered again one more time, looking for a way to legitimize the way they, they are looting. We all should be careful. IPOB have a stand, and IPOB have declared our stand. We don't believe in Nigerian selection. We are not going to disrupt the democratic process. All we know is referendum. We want them to conduct a referendum so that all the indigenous people that are trapped in that contraption called Zoo Nigeria, we have the opportunity to decide if they still want to be a part to that slave ship. We as Biafrans, we don't want to be a part of that slave ship anymore because we understand that that contraption called zoo is only there to kill our people. We cannot excel in that contraption called zoo because it is not meant for us. Biafrans are wiser than that contraption called zoo. We know better than them, and that's why we can never be part of it, and we are not part of that election. And those that are trying to scapegoat, scapegoat us, IPOB, so that when they lose or when they are rigged out of this election, 
they will point and say it because of the indigenous people of Biafra that their candidate lose. Be it ever which candidate. We are making one thing clear. We are not part of this selection called election. And we are not going to tell our people vote or don't vote. And we are not ready to disrupt it because we cannot, we don't want to be part of those people that disrupt the democratic process. And whoever that is about to disrupt this democratic protest is not part of IPOB. That person is a criminal. Our people should know IPOB is not calling for any seat at home during this selection, charade court election. It is not our stand. We are not disrupting the democratic process. We allowed our people to exercise their democratic rights, vote whoever they like, so that when anybody is ripped in this charade court selection, that nobody will try to blame IPOB. And that is why the leadership of this structure took this decision. So, and I will beg each and every one of you, each and every one of our people, those that believe in the structure our leader left behind, to please abide by the instruction given by this leadership, because our people used to forget very early. We keep warning. The disaster the people are going through right now in the zoo with the currency problem. If at all our people always listen and abide by the instruction given to them, you people will not have this stress. Biafrans will not have this stress. This stress will only be in the West and in the North. And Biafrans will have nothing to do with it because if you, you remember, our lead onion Dumas in now the canoe on the 14th of June 2021. First, remind Biafrans, time will come when you will go to bank and you will have no access to your money. And the same time, last six to eight months, our head DOS went on radio and advised Biafrans and said, whatever wealth you have with you, whatever money you have with you, try and change it to international currency because time is coming. They will try to seize your they will try to seize your access to your account that you will not be able to access your money. And all these prophecies are coming to pass in front of our eyes and still some of our people are so gullible and refuse to learn. So I will plead to each and every one of you, this time around the enemies have gathered again, the vultures have gathered again as this election is coming close. They, the blood testy are planning one thing, and that is to keep Biafrans and blame IPOB, to disrupt the, elect, uh, the democratic process and blame IPOB, to knock our head together with our gullible brothers so that we sh we sh they will scapegoat us at the end of the day. Please don't give them the opportunity to scapegoat us Make sure that you call them out wherever they are. Whenever you see somebody saying in the name of IPOB that they are seat at home, shout it loud, rebunk it, let the world know that IPOB is not calling for any seat at home, that IPOB stand on, that Biafrans are free to exercise their democratic rights. We are not disrupting the democratic process. Every Biafran has the right to be part of this democratic process that is coming. Even though we, we as IPOB, we don't believe in Nigerian election and we are not part of it, we have promised that we are not going to disrupt it. So my comrade, I thank each and every one of you. More especially, I thank the host for giving us this opportunity to gather here today. For those of you who have interest to talk or to share their wonderful view with Biafrans, all you need to do is to indicate and you will get three minutes to share your wonderful view with lovers of freedom from all over the world. But remember one thing, discipline is our key because our leader taught us that with discipline, we shall climb mountains 
until today we've seen that with discipline we keep winning. We remain more formidable as ever. So before I continue, I want to call in uh, Mazi uh, Ibuchim. Mazi Ibuchim, can you hear me? Mazi, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, Mazi, please, it's like so, you're joining us for I, the first I'm time. Saying, what yeah, I wanted hold to on, ask please. you is that if Ma Mazi, really Mazi, that hold on, uh, hold on, that... please. Mazi, hold on. Can you hold on? Yes, hold yes, on. yes. Please, before you start, I will need a short introduction so that our listeners will know who is addressing them. If you are in the contraption called Zoo Nigeria, we don't need to know your location. But if not, you are welcome. The mic is yours. Okay. I'm in Nigeria. I'm in Nigeria. Okay. So I want to ask, if really we are not participating in, in the first coming election, what need is it, is it is the election holding in our in our territory? What is what is it, is it of? Okay. Uh, are you hearing me? me? So wait, let me can answer you, you, please. I can hear you. So you hold on. Let me answer you. Uh, you see why we are going. We are not going to disrupt the elect election process. Can you wait? I will, I will give you. I will give you the mic when I finish answering you. You see why we, the leadership, decide not to disrupt the elect, uh, the democratic process. Number one, we are facing a case as those that are against democratic process. The zoo government are trying to stamp us as terrorists. So, and we know where we are going. We have their blueprint. We know what is about to happen. Once we try to disrupt this democratic uh, process, at the end of the day, when they rig those they want to rig, they will kill enough of our youth, number one, in the name of trying to defend the democratic process. That is number one. Our leader is Prince of Peace. Our leader don't want a single blood of any Biafran to be wasted in this election. And that is the instruction we have. And the zoo, their plan is, they know that the candidate from the Eastern region is like the majority candidate. The only way they are going to rig him is when they force IPOB to disrupt the election processes. And when we disrupt it, they are going to kill people. It's going to give them the opportunity to call for, uh, uh, what do you call it, to declare, state, to declare state of emergency. It's going to give them opportunity to rig the election. They are going to use the opportunity to invade our land more, kill more of our youth. And at the end of the day, our people will blame IPOB for disrupting the democratic process. We've been there, we've done, we've seen that. We are holding these people on their testicles. This election is going to be make or break in that contraption called Zoo Nigeria because the institution, the cabals, those that are holding the power, the North will never release this power to either Tinibu or Obi, and we know this. So we are waiting for the obedience. After they must have won, and the court that failed to release our leader, because they will rig them and expect them to go to court the way they did article last time. And they will go to that court, and that court will, never, will not be able to give them justice. We want to see what they will do. In our circle, we say the obedience is going to be the waterloo of that contraption to Nigeria. That's why in most of our zone, we are gathering more cheer, waiting for them after the charade. Our gullible brothers will come back home and together we are going to finish up this fight because we are the last stage of this fight. We don't need to lose any of our comrades, any of our brother, any of our people. We are going to need anybody that is alive to make sure that we defend our ancestral heritage that we are saying we are not going to disrupt the election processes and we don't want to be part of it, does not mean that our people, we are not telling our people, don't go and vote. Everybody has the right to vote if you want to vote. 
But what we as IPOB is saying is that we don't want to be part of this charade because we know that there is, it, it is only a mean to legitimize looting for all these criminal politicians. And we don't believe in it and we don't want to be part of it. I don't know if I must have answered your question, Mazibuchi. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Are you now satisfied with the answer I gave you or you have any other question? Okay, it's no more there. Um, I want I want to call him before we continue. I want to give the mic to Mazi uh, Omeresi. Mazi Omeresi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Are you with me? I can hear you, Mazi. Please, I need short introduction. If you are in the contraption called Zoo Nigeria, I don't need to know where. Uh, uh, you don't need to tell us your location. But if not, you are welcome. The mic is yours. You have three minutes. Yeah, I'm in Nigeria. I'm calling from Nigeria. Okay, so um, no. And uh, I thank you all for what you are doing in the IPOD. Even though I'm not a card party member of IPOD, I love what you have been doing so much. What you have been doing, how you are able to 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 withstand the intruders that want to enter our land. In my village, I lost three persons. In my own village, in my own kindred, I lost three persons to Fulani Hesmen. So, and if anybody comes to tell me that IPOD has not done well, I've said IPOD to the best of my knowledge, they are the people that stood against these people. If not, we could have lost more. Because when they, those intruders were coming, IPOB with the support of their ESN, we were able to push them back. And today we are having a relative peace in my uh, village. Now, my question is this. I know that IPOB is not part of the problem that we're having in the eastern Nigeria, southeastern Nigeria. I know that they have suspended Monday sit at home for a long time because I'm following everything that is happening. Then I know that someone ever has been issuing order. The last time he issued order, I'm from Enugu State. A woman, a pregnant woman was killed in a new market, Enugu, by those enforcing the order of Simon Egba. Now I want to know, is Simon Egba a member of IPOB, and if he is not a member of IPOB, what is IPOB doing to stop Simon Egba from the killing in the southeast? Because this situation he is ordering and uh, giving enforcements to it is really causing a lot to our people in the southeast. So that is my question for now. I have another one that when you answer this one, then I'll come with the rest one. Thank you. Hello. Wait, wait, hold on. Just hold on. Hold on. Let me answer you, please. Uh, Mazin, you see one thing. We've made it clear a thousand of times. That's why I said maybe you're a new listener. Our people in IPOB, we say Simon Ekberima. Simon is a Nigerian agent. He worked with the zoo authorities and the Eastern politicians. Right now, they are under the payroll of uh, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the Jagaban. This is what exactly what is transpiring. They have their own mission right now. What you're saying is not much uh, wrong because the mission they have right now is to disrupt the election processes in the East so that the Eastern candidates with the name Mazipi Tobi, at the end of the day, when they read him in the East, they will blame it on IPOB. Simon had a contract long time to make sure that he's committing crime in the name of IPOB. As our leader was going through trial as a terrorist, as somebody causing problem, killing Biafrans at home. That was the trial, the fake zoo authorities and the fake zoo attorney general Malami is charging him. During that time also, Simon was killed with his gangs. We are 
contracted. They were given money by Dave Umahi, uh, uh, next week, and the uh, hope, hopeless also Dimba, to make sure that they commit enough atrocities that could be blamed on IPOB. But because this re leadership is strong, stronger than Iroko 3, because this leadership has a blueprint that they were following. That's why we started, our defense minister started exposing those people that are gullible among us, that have already changed camp to this Ekberima camp, exposing them earlier before they commit crime, exposing them earlier before they will, do, they will execute what the zoo tell them to do. That's why in most cases you will see with most of the killing, most of the crimes that we are committing, at the end of the day, you will find people telling you that it's not IPOB because we made sure that we educate our people in time, that there is nobody, no human being that his front lobe is working can think that a man sitting at the back of plane will just come out and say that he is piloting a plane. How do you pilot something that you are not flying, that you are not a captain of? How can you pilot something you are? It's only a captain that can pilot a plane. A man, a stowaway, somebody that is a stowaway in a plane is trying to tell our people that he's the one piloting the plane. And some of our people are gullible, believing him. Simon has never been and will never be an IPOB member. This I'm now making you understand. Get it clear and tell your community Tell your people, Simon Ekberima is not an IPOB member and will never be IPOB member. Not today, not for uh, uh, everlasting. And with time, Biafrans will hold him accountable for so many blood that Ekberima in Finland has wasted. Time is coming when the judgment, his kindred is the people that will execute judgment on him when the time comes. This is not a threat, but is a promise. And this is something I want to get clear to you. I will hand back the mic over to you, Mazi. You have more questions? Okay, it's like uh, we've lost the young man. I just want our people to know because just like as you see, uh, the person that asked question just now, he explained what from what came out of his mouth. This is what we keep getting from our people that you have people going about thinking that the Ekberima is part of us, but the Ekberima is never part of us. I don't know why in this modern time, many people still think that IPO, that this Ekberima that stay in Finland has anything to do with IP, IPOB. He is not part of IPOB and will never be part of IPOB. Uh, can you hold on, please? I don't know who, I don't know who, who is speaker is on. Can you hold on? Let me, who is that person? Uh, the Enoch, yeah. Can you, uh, yeah, you hold on first. Uh, when the time comes, I will give you the mic. You are not, it's not your turn. And please remember, we are disciplined. When somebody is talking, you give him his time. You will get your own time when it's your turn, so that we, those that are following us, we understand and they can follow up. What we came here to do is to strategize and execute. This is not kindred meeting, this is not Omona meeting. You are all welcome one more time to Biafran Twitter space. Before we continue, I would like to hand the mic over to my comrade, a man that has the love of Biafran in his heart. Mazelayon man, can you hear me? Yeah, Mazi, I can hear you clearly. Mazi, the mic is yours. Yeah, let me first of all thank you for this great work you are doing on Twitter. And the other beer friends at large who have the love of beer friends at heart, and uh, those who appreciate and love what our union Dumazan Nandekano is doing so far, and the IPOB. Um, great beer friends and lovers of freedom, I greet you here from here. It's good afternoon. I am addressing you from South America, Brazil, precisely. Um, what I want to say concerning the issue of the coming election in Nigeria, uh, I want to make it very clear that, uh, like, like you said, 
earlier. IPOB stand is for the total liberation of our people who have been suffering in that contraction called Nigeria. We want the best for our people and the best cannot come through Nigerian state because that is a projected program against our people in Nigeria. And that is exactly why we are fighting to make sure that we liberate our people from this uh, decay uh, projection against our people. Now, in terms of election, election stands as a world at large recognize this process of electoral process which is democratic process now in this time this is why the ipob leadership have distanced themselves in anything of saying or anything of election boycott we are not going to participate in the election but we are not going to stop our people of making their own choice because people have their own choice to make they have their own decision to take. Our own is to preach about the danger that they are going to renew through election in Nigeria. Then after we preach, we keep quiet and watch them do whatever they want to do or take their decisions. So anybody trying to enforce or trying to tell the people not to come out and vote, and if they're threatening them that if they go out there to vote, they're going to die. I think that person is mad. And I think that person is not guided. And that person is contracted to, you know, to damage the image of the people of Biafra at large. Then in terms of uh, Simon, you are talking about uh, somebody have asked if it is one of us. You remember our people are not following Radio Biafra. This is their problem. And the Mazin Namdekano, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, foresee this issue. That is why he cautioned everybody to go and listen to Radio Biafra. And he told us that whatever we did not hear on Radio Biafra is not true and is not from IPOB. There have never been any time in Radio Biafra you will hear that there will be no election. No. It is only on these contracted individuals who have been paid to damage the image of this agitation. But what I said and where I stand personally as Lion Man, and I keep on repeating it, that our people have the free way to make their choice. Because already, already, there will be no time. I keep on saying it. P2B should go to election and the P2B will win if there is anything called 110%. It will win 110% and the, 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 the presidency can never get to his hand. Britain and the Funani can never allow an Igbo man to be president in Nigeria. So while we are waiting, we want our people to go and, you know, to go and exercise their right and to prove to the world why IPOB is fighting to get their own separate Biafra state. Now, Simon Nipa issuing order or threat against our people. Our people have their rights also to wait for those they are going to send. Those talks they are going to send, those talks that, that have been bought over by the federal government of Nigeria against our land. Because that is Simon Nipa is working for. Nigerian state. Uh, we have ordered our youth to be at alert at any time because there is nothing wrong in self-defense. Anybody coming to attack them, they should kill the person instantly in that place. So I pity those people who are sponsoring this guy, who are behind the atrocities of these people, call whatever they call autopilot. What is the meaning of autopilot? Can anybody be bold and describe his family as autopilot family? Do not you know the meaning of autopilot? No control, no order, no character, no attitude. That is the meaning of autopilot. And our people are very dumb in following such person 
at this modern time, at this 21st century, I wonder the kind of people we are dealing with. But what I want to say that our land must be very, very protected. It must be very, very protected by our youth. Our land is to be protected by IPOB, and that is what IPOB have been doing so far. So what I want to say finally is, I don't think the, even the election we hold. That is why you see this artificial crisis everywhere. This money scarcity, this uh, fuel scarcity. So they know what they are doing. The game is on. That game is on. That is why I said IPOB is more smarter than them. We already know that there is no time because of when they brought P2B, they brought P2B to, to distract the attention or the agitation. But the thing turned upside down against, against the program which P2B was brought in. <coughs> it turned upside down. So they didn't know that this will go in this direction. So God, in his infinite mercy, entered into the middle of that game and changed it. Now they have seen that the P2B they brought in to play the game with them the game have turned against them by people now, you know, crediting P2B as the most qualified candidate among all other candidates. So they don't know how they are going to manage it. This is why they lately created this money scarcity and first scarcity in other ways to give a school to cancel the election because they don't have any other choice not to cancel the election because Britain know how to play the game. If they go on with the election, they are going to expose their evil against the people of Easterners. So there are people are going to justify every movement of IPOB through this election. So that is why, that is what I want to tell the Biafran. Everybody should relax and allow the people, allow our people to exercise their right if they, if they wish to do so. But if anybody say he's not going to fail that he stand for the agitation, that person also have his right. But for IPOB, IPOB is not going to participate in any election and we are not going to stop anybody in engaging or is participating in that election thank you very much god bless you mazi thank you very much may chukwo kabiyama bless you and continue to give you more wisdom and may he give you more health and happiness you see your word is clear for even a, somebody that is deaf to understand where you're going to this is what we've been telling our people from beginning you know full ani our master planner in their own field. But what they didn't know and what Britain did not calculate was IPOB. Their master plan was when we kidnap their, their leader, then everything is over. So, and immediately P2B came out. They all, they just, their hope was once we tag him IPOB, they not, we not vote him the West will not vote him, and his own chances is gone. But at the end of the day, most people used to forget what our leader used to say. Onion do always use this thing. Each time he starts his brokers, 2021, the last six brokers at least. Anytime Onion do their online, their email brokers, you will hear him saying it. As the man who saw tomorrow he is, because he knows he was saying it. I know that the vultures have gathered, making one plan or the other, how to kill or how to massacre your people. But and this is exactly what this leadership, under the leadership of those right now, in the absence of our leader. Because we have the blueprint. He's telling our people that uh, I have to call this person for uh, Mazi Enoch. One more time, if you free your mic, I will be forced to at least. Uh, fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! You stupid! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! So now, uh, Mazi Enoch, you can stay wherever you are and talk all rubbish you want. These are the gullible ones we are talking about. Those people that took money from the zoo government and tried to kill our people and blame it on IPOB. We have many of them, but it's good that they showed themselves. 
Now, Bia France, you can see this person. You have to mark him, know who he is, so that at the end of the day, the day we are going to execute justice, these are what we are telling our people. Such people is not only the homework of M branch and IPOB. Every Biafran, it is a call of duty. Such people, you have to mark them and keep. Because what they don't know, they think this chaos that is now happening in that contraption cause will remain like this. They don't know that Biafra is coming. When Biafra comes, it's going to be a country where the judiciary work, where a common man, a common man has a right. And on that particular day, when it happened, people like this, those that we are using the opportunity of that are using the opportunity of the chaos we have right now to, to kill our people or to sabotage this struggle. Such people, you have to mark them down so that we can bring them to book when the time comes. People like uh, his name is Enoch Nwafo. People like him should be marked and keep aside so that when the time comes, we have to go after him and make sure that we bring him to book when the time comes. We must not waste more time, uh, much time on people like this because these are frustrated people. These are people that have not achieved anything in life. These are people that are going up and down, robbing our people. These are people that are eating from the crumbs, falling out of the table of the politicians. We are not going to give him more attention. Mazi, uh, uh, Mazi Omeresi, I will, I will, Omeresi, I will call you back. I will add you back uh, very soon. But please, before I give you the mic, I would like us to hear from Mazi Ago Talent. Uh, Mazi Ago Talent, can you hear me? Mazi Ago Talent, or oh, I don't know his uh, name. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening all. You can Yes, Mark, you are, you are welcome to Biafra Digital Space, where we give everybody the opportunity to air their view. But what we are not going to tolerate is people like uh, Enoch Nwafor that came up here to try to tell us uh, 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 or to insult the intelligence of Biafra. So, uh, Mike, Mark, the mic is yours. Um, I greet you all. I've been listening to your wonderful explanation. And I appreciate that we have some wise people in this our movement, the IPOB. We are all, um, so far you are an Easterner. We are all fall under the Biafran extraction. I myself, I'm Italian. So, um, I live my life almost in the Canada states. So, I'm from Canada. Mazi, please. Mazi, please. Mazi, yes. please. Mazi, please, can you go somewhere where your net is stable? Because your voice keeps uh, cutting and our speaker cannot hear you well, our listeners. Can you hear me? Just go somewhere where you have net and continue, please. Okay. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? If you can hear me, let me... I will come. You're coming out loud and clear. You can continue, Thank Mazi. Thank you very much. I say, I'm speaking live from Katniski. Um, Zawi um, I happen to live most of my life here in the north, and I salute your statements uh, because you spoke like a person that have the people at heart. Um, despite one or two of us, we, we have different political ideologies, but the, the, the end point is still the same. We are all still vying for a better life, and we are all still vying for a life where we as Igbos, we as Easterners, we can have a voice wherever we are. Either in the Biafra struggle, me particularly, if you can see from my picture, I have an obedient picture. I hold nobody apology. But I'm coming from a point of view where I feel because we Igbos, we have been neglected. And the, the reason why we are having most of this our issues is because we, ha we don't have representative in government. For now, we don't have our own government. It's when Biafra come, we might have our own government. But since we have our Mazi Nadi has tried and they imprisoned him, because uh, some years back here in the north, we have Boko Haram. Boko Haram has been very active. And because of that Boko Haram, some people supported the present government so that the Boko Haram will quench. Some years uh, backwards, we had 
the the Niger Delta militants, which because of the Niger Delta militants, some people supported the the the, the president to come from that zone, so that Niger Delta militant will we reduce. Also, it's still a contraption. Me, I'm a very uh, optimistic person. No matter what, we can still but try. I am willing to vote for this election. I'm here, I'm voting life here in Kaduna. But I'm willing to vote because I believe that when we have, I've witnessed a lot of religious crises, I've witnessed political crises, and all because we don't have representatives in government. I'm very optimistic. That's why I, be, I, I, I support our brother because when he gets there, he has said it that he will be able to restructure some sort, some level of structure. And I'm still optimistic because he's backfiring on them. They never believe we can have such a person that will be popular all over the whole world. They didn't want to give us the Biafra. I see they are still contemplating the pre Igbo presidency. Sir, you say something very good that you said that no matter what, that this Fulani and the, the British would not want to give an Igbo man president. But how do we know if not we try? So I thank you very much for you people coming out to say you people are not stopping the election from holding. Because what Simon Epa, I saw some dead bodies today all over the media. And I'm not happy because those are our brothers. Our brothers, maybe they believe they will have a better life that way. But it didn't happen. In as much as some people don't stay as want to stay aside from the election. But what I know is that even though it is one, two, three people that vote, they will still count it as election. So why not me? We are all pushing a better life, either through the Biafra or the other way. Why not we? It is better to win the big than to even win the small. Because the big now, the, 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 the terrorists we want to win. Yeah, there's been a lot of bloodshed. From my own point of view, I, I lived here in the north, okay? But the east that we usually go back home to enjoy our Christmas is something that we are even scared of going back because of the Simon. And you have one more minute, please. Well, I appreciate you, you people, for having such an obje objective view. I just want to contribute my own quarter because all we are all pursuing is just a better life. Thank you. Very much, Marzi. Uh, Marzi, Argo Talent. Thanks very, thanks very much for your wisdom. Uh, we wish you and the obedient uh, good luck. Uh, as we say, we don't want to be part of this uh, process and we're not going to disrupt it. We are not going to let the full and uh, uh join our head together that we start cleaning our blood. That's why we say IPOB is not a terrorist group. We don't want part of it but we are going to sit and watch and we'll be balancing on our chair waiting for you people whatever the out is it is win-win for us our destination everybody our destination is biafra and in biafra we can't come sun come rain shine that decision has been taken in heaven because we must restore the kingdom of god on earth and is going to change it before i continue i want to call on my Marze Captain. Marze Captain, please, can you hear me? Thank you very much, my brother. Um, greetings to the host. Greetings to everybody. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're spacing from. I hope I am loud and clear. Um, uh, it's always a wonderful thing uh, seeing brothers come together and then um, we discuss not just based on our own selfish interest, but we are selfless in our pursuit for freedom and liberty. And uh, I am so much happy. I will continue to commend you, our co-host, Mazi uh, Chukwemeka, Anyora uh, Okafo, for the intelligent way you, uh, you've been handling this, this um, um, space. I know sometimes we have a whole lot of distraction, uh, like the Enoch guy. And thank you very much for the intelligent way you followed him. Like uh, Mazi Chukwemeka said, uh, this space is open for everybody. Uh, we, are, we practice democracy here, since they say democracy is a government uh, with freedom of speech and the rest of them. We don't gag anybody, so everybody is allowed to come in here and 
you know, air their view in as much as you don't insult anybody. We have our own uh, political views. You're also entitled to have your own political views. But one thing we will not tolerate is coming to insult anybody. And um, if you insult anybody, we would only do something politely, take you down. You know, you can stay in the listener section and um, listen. But if you really want to come up here and have a civil conversation, have a civil argument, ask questions, and also get your own questions in return and answer while we also answer yours. I mean, we are, we are open for that. So uh, don't be... Uh, don't be... Uh, don't allow the devil to use you by coming to uh, raise your voice. There are people who also have voice. We are all educated people here. But the fate of your so-called Nigeria and the election, we are trying to connect the dots to remind some of you all about the things you have done that we will never forget. And the fate of your Nigeria, just as you have been trying to save it, you would always come back with the regret. That's the reason why we keep calling on some of you. So, and some of you who think that our tweet is that uh, your so-called Messiah is not going to win. We don't have that time. We don't care who wins or who, who doesn't win. But uh, we still want to remind you all that we are not here to fight with any of you and we will not allow the enemies to co join our heads together to fight ourselves. But we want to still remind you again. We want to still remind you again that it is not too late to remove the hands of a chimpanzee from the pot of soup before it turns to the hands of a human being. It is not too late. While you keep running in circles, you keep pushing our people more into slavery. But just as this conversation goes on, we will have a lot of light to, to show to shed on. And there is a lot of prophecies, a lot of words, truth that has been spoken to power that the dots are going to be connected today. We still want to remind you all, especially those who are shouting obedience today. We will, I, me personally want to remind you all that your hands are among the people who jailed the only man who spoke truth to power. Your hands are among the people who jailed that man, who put him where he is today. But we hope and we pray that time works very fast and that karma works very, very fast because the time is written. I will try not to speak emotionally, but I will also try to give other people the chance to speak. But there is a lot of light I would love to share today on the past at whatever they call it, that has happened. And how some of you co-signed to that thing that is happening. And what is about to happen next? Are you the mic? Mazinde, all wisdom. It's wonderful whenever you show up to address our people. I say, may Chuko Kabia make more health and happiness and bring you back, back here next week, Sunday, 7, 7 p.m. Biafran time. We must continue. We must continue, our leader said, because I, I can understand points. You know, they say most people that are young didn't understand. Even some some of our youth now, they don't know who Mazin Nandaziki is. You know, during his own time, there were there were more hype him that now will be. But the end result is massacring more than six million of our people. Because why? because the leader grew a big African nation in history. At the end of the day, here 
they didn't give him uh, uh, any any uh, he won they didn't give him uh, uh, the presidency and at the end of the day the loser were our people and we were massacred and this is exactly what i is to avoid in this coming election because onye de kanu is a prophet this man is a is the prince of peace that prince they say they, that will come from east the prince of peace he is the man feel mercy if not what will be happening in Biafra today i smart that we explain it because of the order he gave that biafra land should be peaceful and that's why this leadership continue on the path that following we want we don't want blame to come to ipo when these things we start when hell we let when you start seeing people like uh, the the, the meat from kaduna coming out to challenge the fake ones in Asso Rock, and you see the 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 thief thief numbu from uh, the west shouting that they are sabotaging his mandate you can see the leading party the party behaving like opposition so there is so much confusion i don't think if the late fella or if he used to be alive if he's now alive the abameda we even find a better song to describe it but i want to leave it this way and uh mazi cartoon the mic is yours mazi uh uh mazi omeresi we talk after you mazi cartoon if you can hear me the mic is yours yeah good evening my brothers and sisters all over the world and in the Igbo land i want to greet you all may god continue to bless you all without wasting much of our time my brother i really thank you for the opportunity this sunday I'm so sorry coming out late because I was trying to deliver something before I could meet up. The time is fast running. Somebody's mic is on. Hello, Captain. I think your mic is on. Yeah, um, uh, maybe he's not around. Well, listening attentively. Um, uh, what we are seeing here is the fate of the election. I think our last brother who spoke last already hit the head, the nail on the head. We bear friends are not against this election. We could keep repeating it. Anybody coming out to stand against the election, like fighting, causing destruction, they're trying to snatch the ballot box or causing mayhem in the society, he, he, the person is not from a Biafran land. Maybe the person is from somewhere else, and that person should be held responsible and know the reason why he's doing that. Because we Biafrans are Democrats. We believe in democracy. And if we believe in democracy, we must abide with the rules of democracy. You know, I keep saying it. Somebody insulted me the last time in my in my tweets about the rules of engagement of this election, we are advising the Igbos not to be violent in this election. Some people we are like throwing stones at me that that the the, the, the Nigerian government have bribed me. That is the reason. As a listing, we have to be we have to tell ourselves the truth. You don't disenfranchise people of their own rights because we talk about rights. Election is all about rights and freedom. And before, allow them to express their conscience. We are not in a demo, um, in a military system. If, for instance, now the the UN gave the Biafrans a right to go for referendum, and an opposition from the Nigerian side has said because we destruct their election, they are going to destruct our own referendum. How are we going to see it? That is the angle I'm seeing. How are we going to see it? Because it's going to delay us too. Because we are talking about karma here, and we are talking about the future. So we don't have to jeopardize. In as myself, I keep saying it. I'm not part of the election. I have to say my own the way it is. I'm not part of it. But that does not mean that I will begin to fuel violence in the election. I'm not because I'm not a violent person. So I am. I don't want to waste much of our time. I want to advise every Biafran in Igbo land: please, don't be used in this election as a tool of violence. Think about your future. Think about the family. Think about our generation. We will keep talking about the release of Unamdekan. I want the world to understand that truly, Biafran people are not violence. We are not against democracy. Because some people don't know that the only thing the Americans use as a tool is this democracy. They don't play with it. This democracy is like a religion. Somebody who is, who is a Christian or a Muslim, it is because some people believe in government. Some people don't believe in religion. Some people believe in government. Some people believe in everything. That is how American government sees it. So when you try to jeopardize this 
this election, no matter what you agitate for, no matter what you pursue, they see you as an enemy. So I will encourage, I even like our brother who spoke very well on it. I want to encourage this and every one of us. As we this week, we should tell the world to know that truly Biafra is not part of any election violence. There must be election in Biafra land. It doesn't matter how people see it, it doesn't matter criticism or how they see it. Those who are criticizing, I could, I could, I, I'm seeing the way they are facing the heat. Some of them are not trying to play games to say, okay, they are going to protest. Why the protest now? So that the world will know that things are happening in Biafra land. But since we are talking about protests, nobody, them, the other part that I say they, they don't want election in Biafra land, they are hiding. But now, they are, if I just, because me, I keep reading and understanding what people are talking about this Biafra struggle. Because we have different faces, does not mean we don't have our goals and achievements. I keep saying it in every space I go, in anywhere I go, and people, and I see our able brothers attacking me. Listen and, and listen attentively. Please do not be a part of this election violence. We stand, we even, yes, we are not voting, but we have to stay focused. Our focus is Biafra. Let them do the election. Because if you, if you, were, if you go ahead and read the history of Russia and study what Britain is doing now from this year, 2023, Britain too will conduct their own referendum on Wales and the Scotland and the Ireland. There is no violence. They will, and they are still under Britain. So even when they did their last election, the world did not say they are not going to vote. I think our people need to understand and learn from this perspective. That is why you see Russia today. Even if Russia, there's way, the, um, Yugoslavia, remember Yugoslavia. There are many countries under Russia, but they have to break away through referendum, not through violence. And they are still under Russia. In one way or the other, we'll get this thing right. It's not, and it's not a most that is going to happen this year. You have to take time and get things right please i don't want to waste more time talking too much let other i'll give other people a chance to contribute but please this week let us tweet and tell the world even in any platform you find yourself tell the world that there must be a lesson in, in biafra land thank you and god bless all my people all over the world thank you thank you mazi katum Kabiama. continue to be your strength mazi wherever you are. may he give you more health and happy you see, uh, we've made it clear to the world and we're putting on notice. Violence has nothing to do with IPOB. Those that are planning to demonstrate right now, this is one thing. This is, it, it, in fact, it's, 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 I don't know how to describe it. Those that are demonstrate, can we ask these people, you call that is now more than eight months, going to 20 months, inside dss dungeon you don't have balls to come out one day in biafra land and protest since the courts declare him innocent more than three months now the court declare him innocent going to four 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 months that court declare him innocent balls to come out on the street in biafra land to uh, to protest for release to demand that the uh, uh, contraction calls you authorities respect and obey the court order the boss to stop our people from exercising their democratic rights so that end of the day, when they are being killed, you can point your dirty finger to the OB and say that it is the fault of OB. Those days have gone because we, are, we learn from as events happen. The biggest lesson our people have to put back of their mind because our leader is 2019 he told our people this election is baseless because it's a charity they don't want to legitimate looting they are doing that one entered the, into this election he got pressured from all rulers in eastern region every politicians from both from western region Everybody was pressurizing. He told them, okay, in order not at the end of the day, when you guys are rigged, you will blame IPB. He told our and your right. Our people did it. At the end of the day, the same P2B and article was rigged. And it was even a when they start going to court, it was article that withdrew back the appeal. Because why not fight his own brother? So, we just advise our people. He to command of this leadership. What they are saying, 
our main target is to make sure our people are not killed. Our target is to make sure that our youth are not massacred because we've suffered of massacred. Our target is to make sure that IPB is not blackmailed or scapegoat. And our decision is from. And our main objective now is to make sure that our leader is released from DSS dungeon against all. And our patients have end. We know what we are waiting for. So anybody that think our silence is cowardice, that person, they've not born that. He doesn't know IPOB. He should keep dreaming in his own world. When time come, we will tell him exactly what we are made of. Because we've been, we've, we are the one that have been slaughtered. A man that is already lost everything has nothing more to lose. So, but we know. They say at the end of the day, you have to give peace a chance. And that peace are giving a chance because we are being led by a man who believe in this doctrine. That's what we are doing. Before I continue, I would like to hand the mic over back to Mazio Merese. Mazio Merese, please don't take more than two minutes because you've talked before. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, you see, this... Uh, this uh, election of uh, the uh, issue of uh, black men in IPOB, you see, as an original Igbo man, which I am, and I live in Nigeria, I know all the game that is going on, all the things that they are playing out. I knew, I always, I keep saying it wherever I am. I thank God for IPOB and DSN. If not for them, they could have, the southeast could have been run over. But thank God for IPOB that keep on. You see, one thing, our so called leaders, they are cowards. I'm sorry to say, and I don't owe any apology to any person. I live in the southwest, and I saw how the Yorubas, they always fought for their rights, no matter the circumstances. They fought for their rights. They form Amatekun. Amatekun is going everywhere in Yoruba land, making sure that their land is protected. But in our own case, we keep on uh, demonizing IPOB and ESM, which I know that uh, they are not the problem. So coming back to the issue of uh, Simon uh, Ekban, which I know that they, they are using now, I've said it before. I know that they are using him now. We see what happening, uh, what is happening in uh, Boy State and Imo State. We are the APC that has planted their foot through making number four go, uh, candidate to become number one in the person of uh, Hope uh, Ozodema. Then since they will might enter the APC, uh, Boy State has not known peace. Then, now, someone else is claiming to, claiming to be fighting for this. How can you be claiming to fighting for the Southeast and same time killing the same people you are claiming to, you are fighting for? That is my own anger. That is my own anger against Simon Egba. So, I see him as a tool that the, 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 the Nigerian state is using and the Jagaban. Now, in this election now, they are using him to make sure that they diminish the vote of the South is so that the Yoruba and the, uh, the Tinubu and the Atiku will have their own vote complete. While the vote of P2B, whom majority of Nigeria is saying that this is whom they will want now. And that is where the IPOB issue comes in. Because now, they, 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 we have a president that cannot listen. The court has given order to release Mazin and the Kano. He, they are not listening. They are not even... They are not even doing anything in that regard. So I think it is now for us to fight anybody that said that we should not, uh, we should not have a leader that said that, oh, I will listen to everybody. I will bring everybody to the table so that we can discuss. So my own uh, 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 suggestion to this matter of mass in Nantikba, I think 
it is high time IPOB take this mass Simon and eh, to court, either in Finland or International Criminal Court at The Hague, to say because it's a this is an act of impersonation for me as I'm seeing it. But this man keep on. That is why many people are seeing it that oh, you said that he is not part of IPOB. What have IPOB done in that regard? So I know that you have issued a statement all over and all over again, but I think it's time to go further in the means of maybe taking him to court. That thanks, one very much. Mazi, thanks very much. The two minutes over. You join us next week, 7 p.m. From you see uh, what concerns this experiment are based in Finland. Uh, I, do, I don't want us to lose much time on him. Why I'm saying this is because uh, if Nigerian government could spend billions to go and rendition our leader from Kenya and bring him back here, and since the person is causing all this mayhem in, in East, in the eastern part of that country, no single politician come out to condemn him. Uh, the the uh, fake authority uh, zoo government have not looked word on his name. So you don't need to know who is giving. So leave him. Like as I said, very soon, everybody will answer his father's name. Later, very soon. This is it's going to be like miracle in most of these gullible people and their fools, their eyes, when our leader is outside. And everybody will answer his father's name. And those of you that knew and easily we shall bring you all to book. It is a it is not a threat, but it is a promise. We must continue, says our leader. And before we move on, I want to hand the mic over to Mazi uh, Osai. Mazi Osai uh, uh, has been here. Mazi Osai Emeka. Yes, uh, for a long time. Last week he wanted to talk, but the time was not enough. Mazi Osai, can you hear me? Mazi Osai, are you close to your microphone? The Mazi is not there, so I will hand the mic over to Mazi Kachi. Mazi Kachi, if you finish, Mazi Kitiba, my comments. We're coming here, and after him, we are going to call it. Normally, this is a program, and we overused our time. Mazi Kachi, can you hear me? Mazi Kachi, can you hear me? Mazi, you need to wait because when I called you, you didn't Hello? speak. Mazi Kachi, can you hear me? Yes, I'm coming out clear. Can you hear me? You're coming out clear, Mazi. Please make it short. Uh, two minutes, please, Mazi. Make it be your strength. Mazi, you're doing a great job for Biafra. You're doing a great job for motherland. May you continue to protect you. And our leader, Mazi, and the town. You are Madi Kewa, no memory of you. We say you shall be like tomorrow. You are the Kewa, you are the Kewa. First of all, I will recognize the presence of our our able comrade, Lion Man, the Lion. Mazi, your presence is recognized. And Mazi, without wasting much of your time, you know, I want to I want to point out something. You know, this Biafra platform, this IPOB platform, this we discuss Biafra here. We discuss the struggle here, but I'm not so happy that people are being safe. You know, coming in with uh, their own because Ucho Nyadi Anjo, you understand? We all are doing the same thing. It might be that it might not be in your own way, the way you want it. But the most important thing is that here I make it. We are doing it for motherland. Our discussion here is Biafra, and therefore is what we discuss. We don't have any other thing to discuss. You know, like I hear some people mentioning that, like one of our brother asked a question, uh, I go something. He has left the page. He asked a question that, how do we know that uh, Obi will not win? We are not the ones saying that Obi will not win or that Obi will win. We are not interested in election. Our 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 primary mission is to restore the sovereign state of Biafra and also the unconditional release of our leader Mazen Namdekano. I want to tell him that I say there's a there's a parable that our leader will always make. He say, Ozona Maga You know? 
when we come here to discuss election, election, you look as if there is one thing important or in one thing different about this very election. In our election, we've been doing in our land. We have been doing election to the creation of Nigeria to today. None has favored an Igbo man. I remember the history of Alex Ekweme. Go and check them. They are all there. Even Jonathan uh, managed to be president by proxy. At the end of the day, going for second tenor, they leave them out. You know, today they are telling you, like, look at the INEC report about all the places that is being disenfranchised. Go there, 80% of the places are from Southeast, in most states, to be precise. No place, no polling booth. They are saying that no election will go in most states. Already they have disenfranchised you. You are not in Kaduna. You see how their politics is being played there. Do you think, do you want to tell me organically that there is any Northern and Muslim Northern because they are predominant? That will come up one day and begin to tell you that he knows who is Peter Binyamene or Arene. It seems as if some of us in this country don't even understand what Nigeria is all about. We see Nigeria as a, a, a same nation. Sometimes I see people begin to make comparison uh, United States of America, Ukraine, Russia, this and that. I say this is making comparison where it doesn't fit in. It can, it can begin to compare countries that are civilized, that know what is rule of law with a country that doesn't know what is law. Imagine in a society that court of competent jurisdiction has discharged a person Mazen, in the name of Mazen Namdekano, and the government is still heading him captive against the rule of law. Now, Naira Swap issue has come. Supreme Court has also given a verdict, and the president has violated the verdict, and Governor Air of Fire and all of them have violated the president. So the center can no longer hold as Chino Ashebe, our noble laureate said. You know? So you come in to tell us about Nigeria election, make it look as if there is something very... Because since I was born, I've never, and I don't think I'm interested in my life, that I can ever even begin to go and think of supporting a politician on Nigeria. Imagine from Southeast, it, 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 all the leaders from Southeast, all the governors, all the states that find this, we are, they say we are the commercial hub of Nigeria. We, own the, we, we have the money, the marketing money. Imagine all the governors knowing what this policy is affecting their people. None of them has come up to speak up to say, no, this thing will hurt my people. I don't agree to this. But see, oil of fire on other people. They are speaking for their people. They are speaking for the interests of their people. So how do you want to convince me as an average Biafran living in my land that Britain, Britain came all the way from where they are, came to colonize me, make me part of a union that I never, I, I, I never, I can, I never, my, my agreement, my consent, my forefathers' consent was never sorted before this arrangement. And I find myself in need, not moving forward, suffering. Today, people cannot even go to bank to have their money. People cannot even eat. POS are not working. No money, nothing. People are suffering. And you're talking about election. They are killing our people in Osi Hitoka. In Lilu, everywhere. Osumohu, Amufu, places. Can't on them. There is a bro piece discovered the other day where our dead bodies of our people are being thrown by who put them and his cohorts. Simon Epa is the other side killing people. Destroying life, all because of Nigeria election that has never done any good to average their friend. Because when people come out and say Igbo, 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 this Igbo of 18 is what has kept us backward. Because if you begin to talk of Igbo, you begin to see that we that are the Igbos, we, we are coward in the, in the Nigerian politics. We don't even know because our leaders are cowards. So we are also coward because we can't even do anything. We can't speak, we can't talk, because when you, you are afraid, they will kill you. It's when it comes to Biafra issue, people will come and begin to make common sense. They want to come and advise us. But we've been advising you people for years that this Nigeria is a scam. They want to give it a last try. We are not against. We can never be anti-democrat. Our struggle itself is a democratic struggle. Self-determination is internationally recognized a universally recognized rights of indigenous people. So that itself is a democratic process. So we, as a people, we have never... Let it not be as if it's because of this one. Uh, I don't want you people to be, uh, uh, what is it called, uh, violent, uh, allow election to... No, we've never been 
violent. We don't go against elections. Go and check the history of Nigeria from the creation to now. Apart from when the British and Nigerian government levied a war of attrition against us, 1967 to 1972, to wipe us away from the surface of the earth. Apart from the help of Chukwu Ikabiyama, I don't think we'll be here discussing Biafra, but Chukwu Ikabiyama saved us for a day like this. So the point I'm driving at is that our people should understand that we are not interested in Nigeria election. We are not against it. We are not also supporting it. It's not our duty. Our duty is Biafra, Biafra, and Biafra, and there we shall get. So, Ma Daniel, continue. You're doing a great job, and you'll be remembered. Posterity will judge you Ma for your good work for the motherland. Thank you, and keep it up. I eat for now. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Mechuko Kabia, Ma continue to give you more wisdom. Comrades, I will remind you all as we are jumping over our time, I will let Mazi come in. And after him, I will use Mazi Osas uh, to close the distance before I do the last part of the program today. Mazi Kitipa, comrade, big, please, Mike is yours, man. Uh, good evening, good morning, and uh, good afternoon, wherever you are. Mazi, you are in a very noisy place. Eh? Let me let Mazi Osai talk after not, that you come in. Please, it's not because... me. It's not me. Someone had their speaker on. Okay, let me see the person. Uh, okay, I think the it's person has now. closed it. You can continue. Yeah. Um... By the grace of God, I'm a, an indigenous person of Biafra, and I joined this movement since 2014. I'm an old member, and I'm speaking from the east coast of the United States. Uh, everybody that is here, I thank you, even if you are here with good intentions or bad intentions, whatever intentions you come with here does not deter us from our destination, and it does not stop Biafra from coming anyway. So I uh, thank everybody that came here. I came late this time around, and uh, it will not, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Like a message where, like I said, this program ho uh, hosts every Sunday by 7 p.m. Biafran time. And um, the reason I asked for the mic on this uh, very platform today is there is something that I want to pinpoint about the election that is coming. It's just a few days away. I want uh, each and every one of us to have a to be very optimistic because I, I like it's more like I am very sure. I am very very sure that whatever the outcome is, it brings us closer to Biafra. We win. Whatever the outcome is, whatever the outcome is, whatever, whether it, it come out in peace, in pieces, we will rise from the ashes. This is this is this is the this is this will determine everything. This right here will determine everything. So for the people shouting no election. They know very much that this is the quickest, the express, the express road to actualizing the Afra. So anybody telling you that they want to stop this election, it's an enemy of this struggle. Because one thing, we are not just dealing with spiritualities and power. This time around, it will be the emotions of our own people. Let them try, let them go, let them see, and let them tell. This year, you know, la the last time is kind of partially sensitive because of, uh, uh, because of how it was paired up. But this time around, every region is represented. The three most important regions in this country is represented. And this is how the, the divided Nigeria should have been. This is how we should have coexisted with each other. 
This is the Aburi Accord. Let this one rule his own side. Let this one rule his own side. And let, let, let us rule our own side. Then any day we sit at the center, then we agree. This is the Aburi Accord about to play out. So whatever way, whatever way they take, whatever decision they make, we will, IPOB will come out winning. So don't, too mo don't think too much. Just make sure your family is safe. Tell them to be prepared of what is to come. We will stand aside. If they decide to burn themselves to the ground, we will emerge from the ashes. If they decided to do what is right, which we all who are here know that Nigeria would never agree or decide to do that which is good, that which is plain, they will never choose the way of peace. So... I am urging you all to be very, very optimistic. If any God you hold there, talk to them. It is about time. Just hold on. Sit tight and watch the game. We will not, we don't have any hands in this. This is, this is WWE. We understand. We are not the one wrestling. I dropped the, I hear the mic. Mazin Day woman, Kiki bless you. We you always welcome here 7 p.m. Biafran time. And for those that just join up, you are all welcome to Biafran Twitter space where we strategize and execute. As I'm as I'm thanking all my com today, I want to give uh Mazi Emeka Osai the opportunity because this last week he was here and couldn't talk because of the time. Mazi is making the mic is yours. Can you hear me, Mazi Osai Emeka? Yes, please, I can hear you. Okay, Mazi, please, uh, the mic is yours. Continue. I hope I'm clear on it, right? You are clear, not loud and clear. Okay. Good evening, dear friends. Good afternoon. Good morning, regarding where you are listening from. Actually, my name is Mr. Felix Osai. Mr. Felix Chukaka Osai. Actually, I'm speaking from West Africa, Ghana. Actually, this is my first time I'm speaking. I'm, I've been giving mic. I've been here several times, but it seems like the time was out. So I didn't, you know, I didn't bother. So this is the first time that I'm here, and I'm happy to be part of this program. And I love this program. And also, I'm encouraging our comrade who, you know, approved this. It's, it's a very, very nice job. It's a very, very nice job, actually. And I, I am very, very sure this will keep on, you know, educating those who still, you know, those who still dreaming. Because some people are still dreaming. They, they thought that this would be them that they are. I'm not against anybody, but how they know, how they are mad about this, their obedience, is something that, that I can't tell. And the, the same thing that obedience is doing today, they, they are not learning from history. Because Zig did the same thing. This is exactly what Zig did. And we are in this mess together today. And still, the history won't repeat itself. But where I'm proud enough is that IPOB is there. IPOB is the, you know, is the light of we, really the common men. We, really the common, you know, we do that do not have nothing. IPOB is there for us. Whenever you lose hope, once IPOB, they will give you hope. And also, I'm, you know, I'm very, very happy about how IPOB leadership used to, you know, put things together. So that the international community will not recognize us as an, a you know a terrorist group. So those who keep who still dreaming about uh, uh, this you know, obedience, 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 uh, then would it will, it will clear on their eyes as soon as possible. As how Mazinam can always say that this Fulani Caliphate will never allow any person to rule. They thought that Mazinam Khan is, is what? That man is really a prophet. Whatever he says must surely come to pass. Whatever he says must surely come to pass. And these people keep on dreaming. Keep on dreaming that Nigeria will be better till when. The seven Nigeria got independent till date. We are still in this mess. No good road, no light, nothing, nothing, no running water. Or at least running water. No nothing like that. And these people keep on dreaming that it will be it will be better. It will be better. Huh? It will be better and now it's worse thing. And now it's worse thing. But I thank God. I thank God that I uh, can come up with this. You know, with this fantastic idea, this, you know, this IPOB leadership is the best I've ever witnessed in my life. 
they are the best. Before you know, before you, you even thought of what to do, they are already there. They already know what to do. They, they already, you know, they are faster than more than you can expect. So I'm really, really proud of this you know, organization called IPB Leadership. I'm really, really proud. And I'm also encouraging our comrades, like I said, at the first place, that our comrades to keep it up. Never retreat, never surrender. As uh, Mazi uh, Mecca also said that uh, this program is at 6 o'clock every Sunday, I will you know, encourage them to keep it up like that so that we will be educating our people, who those who keep on dreaming, because they are dreaming, and that dream will never come to pass. That dream will keep on being a dream, because it, it's never it's something that our forefathers dream of. They dream of that. After the war ended, then keep on dreaming that Nigeria will be better, Nigeria will be better, Nigeria will be better. But nothing have ever changed up to date. Then how can you we the you know we that supposed to supposed to stand up and say no, this is not the right thing. This is not the right thing. The right thing is referendum so that we will choose our way. Because our forefather dream the same dream that Nigeria will be better. And nothing changed. Nothing changed. And we are the ones shouting obedience Nigeria uh, no Nigeria is possible. How can that be possible? How can that be possible? We do, it was the same thing that Zik said that new Nigeria is possible. And see where Zeke brought us today. See where he brought us today. After the election, they ring Zeke. Na Zeke could not do nothing. Then how do you think that uh, P2B will do something? Comrade, thank you for welcoming me in today. I hope uh, the best for next time. Thank you, Bear France. Good night. Thank you very much, Mazi Mechukoka. That's you. Please welcome here. 7 p.m. Bear France time. As getting close to today's program, I want to use this opportunity to thank all my comrades that were present here today, especially the host, Maze Captain, Maze Fanyi, Maze Lion Man, Maze Kachi, Osaye Mecca. And I want to tell uh, one other Grolia Ago that need Mike to think twice and come back next week Sunday after withdrawn from the autopilot because we have taken it here as an audio that we will not give any autopilot the opportunity to come here and disrupt our program. We are professed and we, we are completely disciplined. Our leader told us where we are going and we know where we are going to. The leadership of this struggle has a blueprint to Biafran restoration. We are not going to let any, I don't know what you call them, Otolo, Otolo, to distract us. We are more than that. So should go and come back. So now that Gloria, if you can if you are listening to me, I would like you to go and tell again research because I think you've seen the point. You don't exactly know that you are swimming on the rock. So get back to the wave and come back home. The way our HOD said begin this year and then your zone might try to forgive you and you out of the family because there where you are there is no road there. If my comrades have nothing more to say, I'm going to go with the word of our ancestors before we leave today. Let, let my comrades, the captain, say something. Mazi, the mic is yours. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Sorry, I've been having this um, network issue. Uh, I just wanted to quickly summarize and say that um, thank you to every lovers of freedom and thank you to every indigenous people of Biafra. Thank you for all of you who have remained formidable and steadfast. All of you who have remained loyal, not just to the cause, but to yourself. And for those who still believe in Nigeria, we want you guys to understand that there is no cause for alarm. We don't have time to play like kids disrupting election or whatever. We don't have that time playing like kids, like uh, what the so-called imposter in um, Finland is doing. We don't have that time. But there is a saying that if I were not, what is being worn on your wrist, you don't need a mirror to look at it. All we can keep doing is to keep helping our brothers and sisters who are still blind to see for themselves the grave mistakes they are doing. 
And the more you keep do making this mistake, the more you keep dragging us back. The more you keep keep taking us round the circle. At the latter part of the day, the question is, why is it that what one man came up to speak truth to power and say, look, give this and this and this to our people so that they can live with values and excel progressively is a crime that he should be thrown into jail. Whereas another man is coming up to steal the same opportunity to say the same thing and he is being seen as a messiah. It's an important question I am leaving for each one of you to go and really ask yourself if I if you're guilty. So to sum it up, you can't kill an innocent man and hope that the repercussion will not come. Each one of you has a hand in it. I don't care for those who were my friends or those who are no longer my friends, those who I used to laugh with on the space and those who are going to become my enemy. In as much as you are a cohort in that circle, you have a hand in the for that innocent man to be where he is because i am asking an important question why is it that it is a crime for mazen nam the Kano to say that our people need 24 hours electricity our people need good road our people need good health care our people need seaport our people need airport our people need value our people should be respected our people need security why is it a crime for him to be thrown into jail but it is freedom of speech and freedom of political movement for p2b to say the same thing and you all connived collectively unanimously with your voice and said namdekanu should be thrown to jail Whereas you clap for P2B to be your Messiah. Go home and ask yourself one question. That of Onogu. Ask yourself this question. Aquarum, when they hit the Ofonogu on the ground, will I still stand? When I'm being tested, will I fall under the guilty conscience? It is just two ways to summarize it. And we can only watch you people. And my prayer is, whether your so-called Messiah wins or doesn't win, if you guys lose, we will say, uh, definitely we will still tell you guys, sorry, if you guys win, we will still clap for you guys. But what is in front of you? Slavery continues. You sign it and you continue. But... Why is it that two men, one came out first to say, our people need this to excel and progress, and he's thrown into jail. And another man came up to say the same thing, and he is working freely. Why is his brother in jail? Why is Peter B's brother in jail? When those causing mayhem and killing is working free, I want on our tracker. Justice must prevail. I yield the mic. Comrade, I would say um, be your strength. You see, the wo your word and the words of many comrades that have spoken today have got me emotionally uh, in tears. Uh, I wish I could just make it for you to see my feelings. Sometimes one burns in inside and you don't know how to let it out. I 
here to be with you and bring you back here 7 p.m. beyond beyond time next week. And to every other comrade that could not get the mic today, I will plead for your patience, but please join us next on the 7 p.m. Uh, be a front time because we have overused our time more than 45 minutes and i'm going to leave with this words today as long as this election is consigned we have nothing to do with it we are not going to disrupt it either we shall emerge triumph from this ordeal that is the word of our ancestors and through the crucible cash we will pass when we oppose the wounds of battle to heal, we shall remember those who died in mass. Then shall our trumpets peal the glorious song of victory. We score, O oh, might and wrong. O oh God, protect us from the hidden pitfall. God, do all our movement, lest we go astray. Give us the strength to heed the humanist call. To give and not to count the cost each day. Bless those who rule to serve with right resoluteness to make this climb the land of a rising sun. Uh, comrades, I want to remind each and every one of us uh, the time we are right now is the end time. Just like as my comrade captain said, no matter the outcome of this thing that is about to happen, we will come out victoriously, no matter there is no way about it. Just like my comrade Mazi Fani said, there is no way they can't escape it because they have a lot to lose the north. You can kill many indigenous population in this mass with all these massacres you committed all around that contraption called zoo. With all this oppression, this bigotry, this bigotry, the fake Buhari and his cabals has demonstrated to that nation. I bet their biggest fear is the repressor that is about to come. The revenge from the people is going to make them to want to clinch on that power against all odds. And this is where we will come in because the angers of those that will be rigged, the anger of those that were massacred already at Lake Target that believe, that still believe in this process. The second time, because they said the first, fool me once, shame on me, but fool me twice. You know? Uh, uh, no, fool me once, shame on you, but fool me twice, shame on me, because the second time now that they're going to wreak and massacre these gullible youths, is going to be a changing time for that contraption called zoo. Those outside that contraption knows exactly because I could read on their faces each time they are trying to bring out an argument of the end come, saying it will not happen, it will not happen. Please, dear friends, please, my comrades, IPOB member, wherever you are that they are doing this argument, and they are shouting, it will not happen. We must have it. If it didn't happen, this will fall, this will fall. Don't get into a stupid argument. Take the words of our ancestors. Because I was sitting with an elderly man who bring out a proverb to me. I asked him what he did. That there was a time a tiger came with a, a donkey to the lion, to King Lion. And start saying, King Lion, we have a problem here. And the lion said, my friend Tiger, what is it? He said the donkey is shouting that the grass is blue. That the grass is blue. And I want you as the king of this kingdom to, tell, to explain to this donkey that the grass is green instead of blue. And the lion looked at him. And then look at the hippopotamus and the other big animal elephant that is standing as guard uh, behind him and said, please catch this tiger and flog him 12 flashes. And they grabbed the tiger and flogged him 12 flashes. And he told the donkey, the glass blue. The donkey started jubilating and shouting, oh, I've won. The glass is blue. The glass is blue. And when the donkey left, the tiger was depressed. And he said, the king, you know that the grass is green. 
Why am I being punished? And the king told him, for you, you, I expect you to be an intelligent animal like me. For you arguing with a donkey over the color of a glass that you know that is green and to bring him to my kingdom to disrupt my peace. That is why I ask my God to give you 12 latches. It is the word of wisdom for those that can think to understand where leadership stands. We can't be this time out because we know already the end game. They, these people, this particular election is make or break them. It is the biggest trap that they set for themselves. They fell in. That thing our leader keeps shouting, I can't say I have a on what he was telling Okike, saying Elohim. I know that you send me. Please, this thing they are planning, make I can't say how I honor. I can't say how they are honor right now. But it could only be removed by the stupidity of our people. If our people behave so stupid that they try one word or the other to go and support a criminal sitting in Finland that is under contract with the Fulani terrorist government and some southeastern politicians those that are fighting to legitimize Putin, if they join them to try to enforce any seat at home or to disrupt their, uh, retro, uh, the democratic process, then that will be doomed for them. IPOB has nothing to do with it. And please, wherever you are, make it tell your neighbor, your friends, your families, even your enemy, make it clear to them the staff of IPOB. We are not terrorist group. We are not this democratic process but we are going to be at the end of this with this i want to thank each and every one of you one more time i want to biggest office of ipob the doors the white people our able leader onion dumazin now the canoe and in his absence mazichike dosiem i say mokike continue to bless each and every one of you Elohim be your strength and give you more wisdom. He say, he say, from me, from here, is good evening.